Good morning. Let us begin our celebration with a moment of intention and prayer. God, Spirit Divine, we pause, we breathe deep, and we reflect on the meaning of this day. We are grateful for our seniors, for the positive impacts they have made on this campus and on each of us. We do not take for granted the trust placed in us by our students and their families to care for and journey along each of them in their college career. This morning, as we prepare to send them off into the world, we acknowledge that you are among us, residing in each of us. May we each feel your spirit stirring us to live in this moment and all our days in your truth and love. We ask your blessing on this ceremony, that it might be a time filled with happiness and joy and gratitude. Help us to be present here with you and one another and to savor this moment before the next chapter of life begins. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning and welcome to the 162nd commencement ceremony at Cutler Stockton College. Family and friends of our students, trustees, special guests, faculty and staff, thank you for being with us today. And to our graduates, a heartfelt congratulations. As you all leave this campus to embark on the next stage of your lives, I know you are well prepared for through your educational and social experiences at Culver Stockton College. You have all had the opportunity to transform into thriving adults that will leave lives of purpose. I look forward to hearing about all your future achievements, and I know there will be much to report. I must admit that this class the class of 2018 is very special to me. Most of us began our journey on the Hill together just four short years ago. You were freshmen, and I was the new president of Culver Stockton College. I know we've all learned so much, and indeed, it has been an amazing four years. I send my most sincere wishes of happiness to each and every one of you. Once again, congratulations on the completion of the rigorous academic studies that led you to this moment. Now, let's get started. I would like now to introduce the platform party who will be assisting me in the ceremonies today. To my right are Mr. Ron Leftwich, Chairman of the Board of Trustees at Culver Stockton College. Dr. Brenda Bashirs, President of the Blessing Riemann College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Mr. Lucas Thomas, member of the class of 2018, who will be making special remarks to the graduating class. Mr. John Reinhardt, lecturer in accounting and flag bearer. And Mrs. Chris Hubotter, registrar. Seated to my left are Dr. Daniel Silver, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the college. Mr. H. B. Turner, member of the Board of Trustees and current treasurer of the board. Mr. Turner will be delivering today's commencement address. Reverend Amanda Sorensen, chaplain. Ms. Sarah Sparrow, our incoming Student Government Association president and member of the class of 2019. And Dr. Chad DeWard, associate professor of political science and faculty marshal. I now call on Dr. Silver. Ladies and gentlemen, I extend my welcome to you as well. Graduates, colleagues, parents, and friends, we're delighted that you're with us for this special celebration. We gather today to commend our seniors for completing their degree requirements. For some, we also celebrate an extraordinary level of accomplishment in that work by recognizing the special honors they have achieved. 
Before we recognize those achievements, however, we would like to celebrate the career of two retiring faculty members. First, would Susan DG please stand up? Dr. Susan DG is retiring at the close of this academic year after 10 years as a faculty member at Culver Stockton College. Dr. DG has served as senior lecturer in business, director of institutional assessment, and director of sustainability initiatives. Thank you, Susan, for all you've done. Also, Professor Kent Miller, who's unable to be with us today, is also retiring at the close of this academic year after 22 years as a faculty member at Culver Stockton College. Mr. Miller has served as professor of theater arts and technical director at the college, and since he was a tenured professor, was recently granted professor emeritus status by the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Kent. We also think it fitting to celebrate the accomplishments of two faculty colleagues who are being recognized for teaching excellence. First, nominations were solicited from students, faculty, and staff for the Helsebeck Prize for Excellence in Teaching. This prize has been given since 1980 to a faculty member who exhibits special excellence in teaching. A committee of students and faculty has made the selection. We sought to select a faculty member whose teaching is characterized by creativity, fairness, enthusiasm, and rigor. This year, the Helsebeck Prize went to Dr. Heidi Eaton, Professor of Theater and Director of the Honors Program. Heidi, would you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Second, the Walter S. Ruling Prize for Innovation in Student Learning was created to honor former CSC President and Dean Walter S. Ruling, who died in 2007. Nominations were solicited from current faculty and administration for the ruling prize, which is given to a faculty member whose innovative teaching has shown demonstrated results in student learning. Our academic leaders considered carefully the nominations. We sought to select a faculty member who is a leader in innovation in teaching and learning. This year, the Walter S. Ruling Faculty Prize went to Julie Strauss, Assistant Professor of Accounting. Julie, would you please stand to be recognized? It is now my pleasure to introduce today's student speaker, Mr. Lucas Thomas, class of 2018. Lucas is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in History and a minor in Digital Media. During his time at Culver Stockton, I was heavily in, he was heavily involved all around campus. He was a member of the Tau Kappa Epsilon Fraternity, Phi Beta Sigma Honors Fraternity, and Phi Alpha Theta History Fraternity. Lucas was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After spending many years growing up in the St. Louis area, he moved to Alito, Texas, where he spent his formative years. Lucas made his decision to come to Culver Stockton mainly due to the school's Disciples of Christ affiliation. Lucas is currently working part-time as an admissions counselor at Culver Stockton College. After graduation, he will be transitioning to full-time starting on May 14th. Please join me in welcoming Lucas Thomas. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I would like to start off by thanking President Thompson and everyone else who gave me this honor to speak here today. It is it's wonderful. <clears throat> It is my distinct honor to be speaking to you, my classmates, on this day of jubilation. We have accomplished no small feat. Today, we acknowledge that all we, have con we have all conquered our own specific challenges. And today, we walk away from our beloved institution, not only as college graduates, but as a family. Many will say that today is the day that we start our journey that is our lives, but I disagree. It seems to me that each of our journeys intertwined when we chose to attend this college, and that choice has changed us. We now share a bond together that cannot be broken. 
We will forever be wildcats. Today I draw from the wisdom and experiences of one of my favorite athletes of all time, Tony Romo. Tony was an underdog from the start of his NFL career. He was an undrafted free agent signed by the Dallas Cowboys. No one expected great things from him. However, the Cowboys took a chance on him. They invested time and resources in him, and he led them for 12 years. In a way, Culver Stockton took a chance on me and all of you. They accepted us and set us up for greatness. Tony once said, I think people just like rooting. If they like you, they're going to want to root for you, and you're one of theirs. And if they don't like you, it doesn't matter. This is incredibly applicable for today's occasion. Look at all of these people here to root for you. You are one of theirs. The faculty, friends, alumni, and Wildcats are here to root for you and congratulate you on the successful step forward in your journey. We will remain forever grateful for this place, these people, and the tremendously positive impact they have had on our lives. We would be remiss if we did not also on this occasion extend our gratitude to another group of very important people without whom our college experiences would have forever remained a mere ambition. Of course, I am referring to our families. You supported us the whole way through, both emotionally and financially. And when the going got tough and we wanted to quit, you said, fine, come on home. You can share a room with your brother and get a job. <laughs> you sure know how to motivate me. In all sincerity, without your care and support, we would not be here today. We must also thank our fantastic alumni. Without your generous giving year after year during our capital campaign, many of us would not have received the scholarships that made it possible to attend Culver Stockton and attain our respective degrees. I urge all of you to think about this. What kind of alum will you be? Remember, we are always wildcats. There were wildcats before us. There will be wildcats after we leave. Support your fellow Wildcats as if they have done the same for you. Just four short years ago, we were matriculated into this college as students who had individual goals and plans. Little did we know that we would develop strong bonds and relationships with one another and with this institution. Interestingly enough, we are all incredibly di different and diverse. Some of us hail from countries across the globe, yet we all steal for each other, still feel for each other as family. Because of Culver Stockton College, we will forever have another place that we call home. I know the, four pa the past four years have meant the world to all of us and will not soon be forgotten. Soon, we will all continue on our own life path and look back fondly on these years and reminisce about the glory days. The days when we stayed up late studying in the library, spending time with the best friends we will ever make, finding love and experiencing life for the first time. All of these experiences will remain with us. We may have made some mistakes along the way, but all of these mistakes have made us stronger, smarter people, and are overshadowed by our achievement here today. I would like to touch on some of my own personal experiences at this time. When I arrived at Culver Stockton as a bright-eyed freshman, I was welcomed by many wonderful students at Wildcat Welcome. When I experienced this, I was immediately drawn into the wonderful environment and wanted to do everything I could. I was welcomed by wonderful professors who did everything they could to make us feel at home. Deanne Campbell was my very first professor and she was wonderful. She made us cookies for our class and made us feel like one of her own. I knew at this point how special Culver Stockton College was and it was then my home forever. Over a few years, I had similar experiences with other professors, faculty, and staff, and was given countless opportunities to better myself. I have loved this place since day one, and would not change my experiences for anything. I'm sad to be leaving. I leave you with one final thought. It is okay to be sad. It's okay to let your guard down. We are leaving this place that we have called home for the past four years and it is only natural to be sad. However, think about the not too distant future. We will all be successful thanks to the lessons that we take away from our time here. We must be certain that we pay it forward, much like the Wildcats before us. 
we must ensure that others get the same opportunities we had here, so they too can know success. Let it sink in. We are graduates from Culver Stockton College. The world is our oyster. Thank you. Thank you again, Lucas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Mr. H.B. Turner. H.B. Turner is the primary owner and chairman of Peachtree Lighting, LLC. Peachtree Lighting, LLC is a manufacturer of LED lighting fixtures sold to commercial and industrial specification markets throughout the USA and internationally. HB is also the retired president and CEO of Heatron Incorporated, a designer and manufacturer of a broad range of electrical products. Heatron serves over 30 market segments, the largest being key components for medical devices such as sleep apnea and kidney dialysis machines. HB won the 1998 Ernst & Young LLP Manufacturing Industrial Entrepreneur of the Year Award for Kansas, Western Missouri, and also participated in the National Entrepreneur of the Year event in Palm Springs. In 2016, he was awarded the Distinguished Alumni Award at Culver Stockton College. HB is a member of the Culver Stockton College Board of Trustees. He serves as board treasurer and member of the executive committee he has been a member of the Lambda Chi Alpha Housing Corporation Board of Directors and Culver Stockton College's Kappa Mu Zeta chapter since 1980. HB is married to Tammy R. Lefevre Turner and has three daughters, Kaylee, Hannah, and Alyssa. In his free time, he enjoys working on the family farm near Weston, Weston Missouri powering around the Gulf of Mexico near Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida, and participating in water sports. He is an enthusiast of sports in general. HB is a fan of the Kansas City Royals baseball team and Kansas City Chiefs football team. HB, Mr. Turner. Well, thank you for that introduction, Dr. Thompson. I'm humbled to be asked to speak to you to this distinguished class of 2018. It's a day to celebrate your hard work and your achievements. Congratulations, graduates. In 1979, I was sitting where you were. Dr. Brown was our new president. Gas was 63 cents a gallon. And the only person I knew that had a cell phone was the mayor of Quincy, and it was half the size of his front seat of his Lincoln Town Car. <laughs> An IBM computer as powerful as your cell phone, and everybody's got one of those today, was about the size of a car. 39 years ago, I don't remember what the commencement speaker said, or who he was, or she was, and I, so I guess I should go ahead and sit down. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm the only thing between you and your diplomas, so. I'm, I'm a fan of President George W. Bush. He actually kissed my wife once, and that's kind of another story. <laughs> President Bush said it best. Graduates, to those of you who got A's and B's, very well done. To those of you who got C averages, you too could be President of the United States. <laughs> In 1853, our founding fathers chartered the first co-educational college west of the Mississippi on this beautiful ground overlooking the river. Seems like yesterday. Class of 2018, you are the 162nd graduating class from this historical institution. You're graduating from an institution that has pioneered and is the leader in experiential learning. You have much to be proud of. Throughout history, hills and mountains have been important. Moses received from God the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives to pray. And our military commanders throughout history have looked for the high ground. 
to hold their position or to take from the enemy. Union troops even camped on this very hill in our, in, during the Civil War. After your time on the hill, I know you know what a special place this college is for many graduates, staff, and friends. For 165 years, this hill has been blessed by the good Lord to prepare students to go out into the world to make it a better place. That sounds cliche, but I'm sure if I could share a story, I think it'll illustrate how special this institution really is. Last Saturday, I was at a neighbor's birthday party and I ran into a 1990 graduate. I'm gonna take this off, I'm used to a cowboy hat instead, so. Um, the 1990 graduate was a young distinguished alumni re award recipient in 2010 and his name is Joe Cadetti. Culver came up in the conversation and Joe shared his Culver story to about four or five others at the party who had really weren't familiar with the college. I listened and then I asked Joe, could I share your story with the graduates today? And he was very kind to say yes. Joe grew up in St. Louis. He had a troubled home life. In high school, he drank too much, he drank, did drugs, and he had a 1.9 GPA. After a terrible car accident that involved the death of his cousin, Joe realized it was time to get down to books and study in his senior year. His two brothers graduated from here, and Joe was ultimately accepted and, and came to Culver Stockton College. As a freshman, Dr. Cosgrove, professor in the business department, came alongside Joe for his college career. Joe admired Professor Cosgrove, a Notre Dame graduate, University of School Law graduate, Joe said he was the first accomplished man who ever took an interest in me. He mentored Joe and gradually shared his faith in God, something special and foreign to Joe. And then thanks to Joe's required religion class, they called it Christian heritage in my day, Joe studied the Bible and found the love of Jesus Christ. Joe went on to law school at the University of Missouri and became a partner in a prominent labor law practice in Kansas City. He was very successful and he was making the big bucks. He went on a mission trip with a good friend who had sold his business interest and started the Global Orphan Project. Joe was changed after that trip and he felt a calling to give up his law career and become CEO in 2007. And under his leadership, the Global Orphan Project now cares for almost 5,000 orphans around the world, largely in Haiti, Africa, and India. How's that for world impact, graduates? Their model is not to hand out money, but to create businesses in the local economy and to go alongside the churches and support the orphanages in their local communities. If you're looking for an opportunity to get involved in the not-for-profit world, it's a great organization to check out. But back to the Hill, in 2010, Joe was honored at homecoming and he shared his story with a large group of students here on campus. Dr. Cosgrove heard Joe's remarks and asked Joe to stop by his office on the next day. Dr. Cosgrove pulled out from his desk a copy of a full page list of students. Joe even sent me a copy of it, by the way. Dr. Cosgrove had felt called to pray for these students and Joe and his beloved professor shared an emotional time together that day. Joe then asked for a copy of the list, and with the last names blocked out, Joe Kennedy's name was the first name on that list. I know of at least one other student that experienced a similar outcome, thanks to Dr. Cobb's girl, and I'm sure that there are many more. I'm also sure that there are many more professors, staff, alums, trustees, doing very similar work on the Hill. Am I right, graduates? Dr. Cosgrove, thank you for letting me share that story. Today, Joe keeps a copy of that page in his Bible. This past Sunday, he ran up to me, proudly presented, and showed it to me. But that page is very different since he received it in 2010. Now it has the names of orphan kids all over the world. That page is a reminder, Joe says, to serve an almighty God who is full of grace and who honors humility and answers prayer, sometimes in unforeseen ways. Graduates, the best advice that I can give you is to have faith in your God. Look to a higher power, 
Make time to pray daily. Get to know your God by reading and studying His Word with other believers. And I've found that when I can't make a decision or what, decide what to do, I often find the answers in a quiet place with prayer. I've also found that the more I give to others, the more I get in return. The Bible tells us to whom much is given, much is expected. Thankfully, I think billionaires Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they understand that. But you don't need to be a billionaire to give back your time or your money. For most of you, your education on the Hill is subsidized by others, donating funds for student scholarships. When you start to make a few dollars, save some to give back to Culver Stockton or to other causes that you believe in. And just as others have done for you, find a cheerful spirit of giving and make it a habit. The more you stretch your giving, the more you'll get in return, I promise. Since leaving the Hill, I found that each day I must remind myself to maintain an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude to your friends, your family, your bosses, your co-workers, to your God and to others. Learn to say thank you often. In fact, graduates, would you stand up, please? Find your family or friends, or maybe it's a professor, blow them a kiss, give them a wave, and after this ceremony, give them a big old bear hug and say how thankful you are. <laughs> you may sit down. Let me share a little bit of what I've learned since my graduation back in the dark ages. My plans were to go on to law school, but the law schools that I applied to apparently didn't share my enthusiasm. <laughs> Fortunately, I worked with our alum, uh, Joe Charles, who this facility is actually named for. I worked with him in a fraternity on a project in the city of Canton. He built a factory here, and I went to work for him as a management trainee. He was a great mentor and I learned a lot of lessons from him in four years, and one in particular that I learned on a Friday afternoon during working hours, but it's just not a good idea to be on campus when your boss is on campus. I should have taken the back stairs in Henderson Hall. So. Next I met a girl in Kansas City and decided to move to, from Chicago to Kansas City. Any good story has a girl or a guy in the plot. And there I met my second mentor, a Harvard MBA and a serial entrepreneur, Fred Braun. We bought Heatron uh, out of bankruptcy and he suggested that someday I could be part of the business if I worked hard. Throughout my career, I've tried to use my college, Culver Stockton education, to be curious about the world around me and to be a lifelong learner. Graduates, let your curiosity run wild. Always look for learning opportunities, you might have an interest in history, or in your field of study, or some other thing, but read and learn constantly. My first mistake was about that girl I mentioned in Kansas City. After um, learning from that short mistake, I married a beautiful, wonderfully kind, faithful mother of three daughters, now in their 20s, my wife Tammy of almost 30 years. The message here, Wait for the right person to come along. Marry well, marry up like I did. <laughs> and it's important to share your life with those you love and care for. Choose wisely. I was age 27 when my business partner and I became majority owners of Heatron in a small manufacturing company. I had a second mortgage on my house and on my dog. <laughs> and by the way, that business partnership lasted 32 years, a rarity in today's world. When our first child was born, we borrowed money to build our first factory. Tammy and I signed the papers, personally guaranteeing that we would pay the debt back if for some reason the business failed. She looked at me and said, we don't have that kind of money. What are we going to do? I said, well, I guess we better not fail, plus they can't take the kid and they can't take the dog. So, Heatron grew over the years with 300 employees, and we got involved in lots of different projects. One in particular was we made over three, or I'm sorry, a hundred million, or uh, one million heated shells for McDonald's for use in their cabinets. Every time they have a hamburger for McDonald's, we kept it warm. Our last big project required us to produce over 200 million tiny little circuit boards for a well-known tobacco company's e-cigarette cartridge. 
And no, not the ones that blow up, knock on wood. And I don't vape, and I hope you don't vape. So what did I learn from dealing with so many customers and business partners? Take action. There's a lot of reasons we can find to say no to such challenging projects. Yet you usually said yes without knowing the answers. We quickly learned to innovate and take risk, careful risk. We rarely turned away a project. Our motto was, we'll find a way to make it happen, and we did. Doug Hall, a leader in the field of innovation, says, fail fast, fail cheap. I say, don't be afraid to fail. Learn from your failures. During your time, expect, in your time in life, expect lots of failures. Learn from them, take action, and move on. Second, never, ever, never, ever, ever give up. Follow your dreams, be persistent, and never give up. Third, keep a positive attitude. Don't be one of those crabby face, pain in the butt kind of people. Find a way to address your problems without bringing down those around you. If you need help, ask for help. And always have a few friends who are smarter than you, which is easy for me. Um, and see the world, and that your friends see the world differently. You'll need those people throughout your life. And if you're having a bad day, suck it up. The next morning is bound to be better. I learned to practice the phrase, kind but firm. No one will advocate for you. You must stand up for yourself. Just be kind, but firm. Early in my career, I had a temper, and I let my emotions affect my relationships. It took me far too long to learn the value of that very simple phrase, kind, but firm. Address the issue without letting your emotions get in the way. And it's up to you. Only you can keep yourself safe, happy, and prosperous. I believe in our system of free and private enterprise. I hope that we never expect government to do more than it has the capacity to do in our lives. You control your destiny, not the government. Keep it simple. Don't make it complex. Another life's lesson class of 2018 is how important it is to help others succeed. Show people you care, regardless of their position in the world. In fact, the least of us desire the most appreciation. Show others how special they are. And always look someone in the eye and choose to have a conversation, not a text. One of my fondest memories from the Hill was shaking hands with then presidential candidate Ronald Reagan after he spoke here on campus. He was president from 1980 to 1988. He's always had some memorable quotes, but I'd like to share two of my favorites. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Also, President Reagan said there's no limit to the amount of good you can do if you don't care who gets the credit. Be humble and share the credit. I decided to retire at the end of 2017 after selling our business in early 2016. After 35 years, I'd hoped to find some free time. So far, I'm still searching for that free time. But I'd love to hear from you graduates, and I'd love to help you in your future endeavors. I'll always take a call from a, federal, or a fellow graduate. And between working on my LED business in Georgia and serving as a trustee back in the Hill, I enjoy helping my son-in-law raise Wagyu beef cattle on our farm including some spending the time on the big green tractor and every once in a while slinging some manure. And by now, I expect that's what you think of this commencement address. <laughs> Graduates, my wish for you is that your journey is a long and happy one and that you use your cover stock in education to its fullest. May you climb many hills and may the hills you climb be worth it. On your journey, choose the hills surrounded by those you love. Wear out as many pair of boots as you can. Don't be afraid to slide down a few hills as long as you get back up and keep on climbing. With mud on your boots, your clothes tattered, your energy spent, your legs tired, your feet blistered, knowing you gave it your all in your journey of life. Congratulations, class of 2018. You are to start a, a long and prosperous journey, but never forget your starting place 
here on top of the hill. To quote Abraham Lincoln, I bid you an affectionate farewell. Now get started and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Turner. During our celebration today, we're awarding, among other degrees, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, for which Culver Stockton College and the Blessing Riemann College of Nursing and Health Sciences are special partners. To bring greetings from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences is the President, Dr. Brenda Bashirs. Dr. Bashirs. Thank you and welcome from Lessing Riemann College of Nursing and Health Sciences. We are very excited for you today. When you arrived on the Hill, you were searching for direction, perhaps even searching for answers. My prayer for you is that you have found many of those answers and you have found a clear direction for your future. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. I believe that within each of you is great potential. Congratulations and best wishes. We know this is an important day for all of you. Each graduate will have their photo taken as they receive their diploma. Digital copies of photographs will be available after May 25th, 2018. Please see today's programs for detail. And if you would like to take pictures during the ceremony, we ask that you refrain from approaching the platform until your graduate nears the stage. Please stay in the designated area to the side of the stage to my right. And now, honored graduates, we come to the most important moment of all, the conferring of your degrees and the awarding of your diplomas. Once again, we are proud to be presenting our Master of Business Administration degree, so will the candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration please rise. President Thompson, I present these candidates who in the judgment of the faculty of Culver Stockton College have or will have successfully completed all requirements for the master degree by the authority vested in me as president of Culver Stockton College, I now confer upon you the degree of Master of Business Administration. You may now turn your tassel. Will Professor Gaither and Professor Strauss please join us on stage for the hooding ceremony? And will the junior marshals please usher these graduates to the platform? Graduates, as I read your name, please come forward to receive your diploma and hood. Dalton James Bohan. Lisa Nicole Bohan.
Brooke Lee Bowie. In absentia. Linda C. Cheshire. In absentia. Paul Michael Allen Douglas. Benjamin William Fitchin. <laughs> Tyler Ann Front. Amanda Marie Gable. Amy Lee Humphrey. Cody Michael Jacobson, in absentia. Russell Adam Lee. Aaron Nicole Moore. Brent Arlinden Sorensen, to be presented by his wife, Chaplain Amanda Sorensen. Clark Alexander Stacker. <laughs> Nicholas Frederick Still. Jason Reed Stratton, in absentia. Alexander Grafton Tab.
President Thompson, this completes the conferring of the Master Degree for Business Administration. Now, will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music Education, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise. President Thompson, I present these candidates who, in the judgment of the faculty of Culver Stockton College, have or will have successfully completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. By the authority vested in me as president of Culver Stockton College, I now confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music Education, or Bachelor of Science in Nursing. You may now turn your tassel. You may be seated. <clears throat> and now, will the junior marshals please usher the graduates to the platform? Please note that those who graduate with honors receive special recognition in our ceremony today. Gold honor cords are given for the highest distinction, summa cum laude. Lilac honor cords are for great distinction, magna cum laude. And white cords are for those who graduate with distinction, cum laude. In addition, we have nine students graduating with college honors who, in addition to their diploma, will receive an honor medallion from Dr. Heidi Heaton, director of the Honor Scholars Program. It is also the policy here at Culver Stockton College to allow a trustee, employee, or a member of the commencement platform party to present the diploma to his or her relative. And today we have eight students receiving their diplomas from family members. Graduates, as I read your name, please come forward to receive your diploma. Hamid Saleh Al Haida, Bachelor of Science. Mana Saleh Al Haida. Bachelor of Science. Amy Jo Allen, Bachelor of Science. Kirsten Karina Arnold, Bachelor of Science. Mallory Lynn Bacon, Bachelor of Science. Hunter Blake Baggett, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. Brian Kurt Bangi, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jamie Lee Bash, Bachelor of Science, to be presented by her mother, Nancy Bash. Amy Martine Baring, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. <laughs> Dale Paul Bellomini, Bachelor of Arts. Brittany Claire Brinson, 
Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Addie Mae Bjornsson, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. Monica Alexia Blakey, Bachelor of Science. Tori Nicole Blickham, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. Alec Lane Boren, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude, to be presented by his mother, Harla Boren. Mason Lorraine Bovard, Bachelor of Science. Derek John Bracy, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Paige Mary Bray, Bachelor of Science, in absentia. Stephanie Nicole Brennan, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. Kristen Marie Bringer, Bachelor of Science, to be presented by her parents, Mike and Tracy Bringer. Ashley Nicole Bronstein, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Amanda Rose Brown, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Gerard Anton Buscino, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Emily Ann Renee Burton, Bachelor of Science and College Honors Graduate. <laughs> Marvin Campos, Bachelor of Science. Macy Eileen Carmian, Bachelor of Science. Andrew Cameron Caton, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude, and 4.0 cumulative grade point average. Tanner David Charon, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Lane Curtis Chedwick, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Jade Taylor Cheffy, Bachelor of Science, cum laude.
August Quentin Clark, Bachelor of Science. Kimberly Faye Clark, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Lucy Francis Clark, Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Chelsea Coles, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Irving Luther Collier, Bachelor of Science. Jonathan Michael Collier, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Gussie Lee Conayer, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. James Robert Cooper, Bachelor of Science. Andrew Reed Denke, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Julie Lynn DeLuya, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. <coughs> Megan Danielle DeWard, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Magna Cum Laude in Absentia. Nicholas William Dorothy, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Lisa Marie Downing, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Heather Nicole Dussinger, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Antonio Elliott Edwards, Bachelor of Arts. Alexander James Engelian, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science and College Honors Graduate. Jordan Mackenzie Ensweiler, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Robert Charles Estes, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Tanner James Evans, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Tina Evans, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Courtney Paige Fancher, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
Jacob Stephen Farley, Bachelor of Science. Tyler Mackenzie Farlow, Bachelor of Science. Amy Renee Farr, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, in absentia. Shelby Lynn Fector, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Robin Martin Felix, Bachelor of Science, in absentia. Yaritza Lizeth Felix, Bachelor of Science. Adrian Fernandez Zarolo, Bachelor of Arts. Kevin Udo Figgy, Bachelor of Arts. Tamia Joy Foster, Bachelor of Arts. Rosalind May Fox, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Bridie Ann Garner, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Jamie Lee Gilly, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Glynn, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Emily Jane Gold, Bachelor of Science, Summa cum laude and 4.0 cumulative grade point average. Austin Blake Gofner, Bachelor of Arts. India Nicole Green, Bachelor of Science. Megan Green, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Barbara Ann Greenwood, Bachelor of Science, in absentia. Keely Christina Gray, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Blaine Edward Hale, Bachelor of Science. All right, Blaine. Congratulations. Madeline Janae Halford, yes. Bachelor of Science. Yes. Dominic William Heberlein, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. James Robert Heiss, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Alon Hemsani, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Edward Joseph Hurley, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
William Edward Hill, Bachelor of Science, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Devin Alexander Hobbs, Bachelor of Science. Benjamin McDowell Hooker, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin Christopher Howard, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Renee Howard, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, in absentia. Jennifer Ellen Hudspeth, Bachelor of Science. Lowell Reeves Samuel Houston, Bachelor of Science. Frances Victoria Salvador, Bachelor of Science. Thank you so much. William Deshay Cortez Jackson, Bachelor of Music Education, Cum Laude. Ryan Ashley Jacquemin, Bachelor of Science. Adam Jaworski, Bachelor of Arts. Brett Edward Johnson, Bachelor of Science. Jaquan D'Angelo Johnson, Bachelor of Science. Laura Eileen Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Alexa Louise Johnson Roach, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Kiana Kohohimani, Bachelor of Science. Katie Marie Karkinen, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Riley Kenneth Keeler, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Matthew John Kelly, Bachelor of Science. 
Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Ashley Knudsen, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Tyler Carl Kasu, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Joshua Jesse Cornuzis, Bachelor of Science. Robert Nathan Krasilyak, Bachelor of Science. Catherine Elizabeth Kroll, Bachelor of Science. Matthew Robert Kuhl, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary William Kuhlman Pfeiffer, Bachelor of Science. Joshua Robert Douglas Laird, Bachelor of Science. Joshua. Ashlyn Mercedes Lay, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Justin Matthew Ledford. Bachelor of Arts. Taylor Kent Leftwich, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude, to be presented by his grandfather, President Emeritus Robert Brown. Tyler Scott Linton, Bachelor of Science.
Rachel Ann Lloyd, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average, to be presented by her mother, Leslie Lloyd. Nancy Eileen Lucas, Bachelor of Science. Delaney Elizabeth Luffy, Bachelor of Science. Mary Elizabeth Maddox, Bachelor of Music Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Isaac Daniel Madrid, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Alexander Melinick. Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Marcel Martin, Bachelor of Science. Joshua David Martinez, Bachelor of Science. Derek Douglas Mason, Bachelor of Arts, in Laude. Emily Rose McPhee, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Kirby McLean, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Truman Duke McComb, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Greg McCrudden, Bachelor of Science. Mackenzie Lynn McInturf, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Anna Marie McNay, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. <laughs> Kelsey Marie Mendenhall, Bachelor of Science. Jonathan Jose Mendoza Laguna, Bachelor of Science. Keegan Bo Miles, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, in Absentia. Campbell James Miller, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Right, Campbell. <laughs> Leah Marie Miller, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Nathan Dwayne Miller. Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Reese Patrick Miller, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude.
Stephen Kent Miller, Bachelor of Arts in Absentia. Erica Lachey Moore, Bachelor of Science. James Christopher Morris, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Gage Henry Dean Mossman, Bachelor of Science. Christopher Tarek Musa, Bachelor of Arts. Kylo St. John Nelson, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Tiffany Nicole Newberry, Bachelor of Science, Hi, summa cum laude and 4.0 cumulative grade point average. <laughs> Diara Newsom, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Harry George Nicholas, Bachelor of Science. Danielle Page Nicholson, Bachelor of Science, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude. Marina Christine Niehoff, Bachelor of Arts. Mackenzie Ross Northern, Bachelor of Science. Taylor Nicole Obert, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. And 4.0 cumulative grade point average. Shayla Delaney O'Dear, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Cannon Tyler Owsley, Bachelor of Science. Deanna Nicole Pearl, Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Deanna. Heather Pendergraft, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. John Jerry Pierce, Bachelor of Science. Eric Joseph Pingold, Bachelor of Science. Right, Eric. Sarah Nicole Plant, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Cum Laude. Right, Sarah. Shane Andrew Ponder. Bachelor of Science. Amanda Lynette Power, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
Logan Robert Pruitt, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Austin Brooke Purtle, Bachelor of Fine Arts. David Andrew Quach, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Cum Laude. Awesome, David. Thank you. Congratulations. Lane Leanne Ray, Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Rianne Adele Red, Bachelor of Science, in absentia. Madeline Lee Reitman, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Right, Congratulations. Benjamin Paul Reinhardt, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 cumulative grade point average. <laughs> Shelby Ann Renner, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Andre Javon Reynolds, Bachelor of Science. Elijah Emmanuel Richardson, Bachelor of Science. Renata Ann Richardson, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Skyler Joe Richmiller, Bachelor of Science, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Colby Aaron Robb, Bachelor of Arts. All right, Colby. <laughs> Jonathan James Robertson, Bachelor of Science. Jonathan. <laughs> Pierce Jarrett Robinson, Bachelor of Science. Franklin Rafael Rojas Quintero, Bachelor of Science. Austin Paul Roth, Bachelor of Arts. Madison Bailey Rissman, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Marielle Eileen Saunders, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Jessica Maylin Schindler, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
Christine Isabel Schlegel, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Madeline Kate Selby, Bachelor of Science. Victoria Ashley Sendejas, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Kelsey Marie Sharo, Bachelor of Science. Brianna Marie Simons, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Garrett Conlon Simpson, Bachelor of Science. Crystal Dawn Smith, Bachelor of Science. Daniel Lane Smith, Bachelor of Science. College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Jarius Smith, Bachelor of Arts. Tyler James Smith, Bachelor of Science, College Honors Graduate, Summa Cum Laude. Bria Shea Snowden, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Rachel May Summers, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Natalie Marie Sorensen, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Noah Lars Spake, Bachelor of Science. Noah. Jennifer Marie Sparks, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Meredith Christine Spiegel, Bachelor of Science. Benjamin Stevens, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Grace Julia Stiles, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, to be presented by her mother, Kelly Stiles. Christopher Patrick Stock, Bachelor of Arts. All right, Chris. <laughs> Alicia Gail Stover, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude.
Mariah Lynn Strange, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, and 4.0 Cumulative Grade Point Average. Patrick Douglas James Stutt, Bachelor of Science. Tara Rose Sutterfield, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. Roger Dale Taylor, Bachelor of Music Education, Magna Cum Laude. Lucas Allen Thomas, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. And Drakia Maria Thompson, Bachelor of Science. Cassidy Ann Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Hannah Shea Thompson, Bachelor of Science. Sabrina K. Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Kelly Kathleen Tomlinson, Bachelor of Science. Callum William Townley, Bachelor of Science. Christopher Ryan Turner, Bachelor of Science. Jordan Orlando Vasquez, Bachelor of Arts. Luis Enrique Vilches, Bachelor of Science. Kristen Lynn Walsh, Bachelor of Science. Kyle David Warning, Bachelor of Science, to be presented by his mother, Lila Warner. Callie Waswick, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. McKenna Elizabeth Weaver, Bachelor of Science. Donald James Wilhite, Bachelor of Science. Anna Beth Williamson, Bachelor of Science. Austin Tyler Weiscarver, Bachelor of Science.
Travis Eaton Witt, Bachelor of Science. And Moniki Mikhail Wood, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Terry Lynette Wright, Bachelor of Science. and Nicole Marie Zuloff, Bachelor of Science in Absentia. <laughs> President Thompson, this completes the conferring of the degrees at the 2018 commencement exercises. At the conclusion of the benediction, the faculty and administration will form a double line along the center aisle. During the recessional music, new graduates will walk through the passageway as they leave their student days behind and enter the world as Culver Stockton College alumni. We ask everyone in the audience to remain in your places until the last graduates have gone through the passageway. Parents and relatives may then rejoin their new graduates on the southwest side of the Gladys Crown Center. Your designated area will be marked with signs for the first letter of your last name. And now I would invite Mr. Roger Taylor to lead us in singing Culver Stockton College's Centennial Hymn. Please rise and remain standing for the benediction and for the recessional passage ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. You are done. <laughs> we are so proud of you, and we know that you will continue to make us proud. I send you on your way with one final blessing. May the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow be a guide in all you do. May God help you to use all you have gained here your education, life experiences, your successes and your failures to make the world a better place. May you always remember where you came from, but stay focused on the present with expectation and hope of the future. 
May God grant you the ability to make a difference, the courage to use your voice and stand tall in the face of conflict, and may you always be surrounded by love. And remember, you always have a home on the hill. Go from here in peace and joy. Amen. Amen.